Today is super exciting because we're not only gonna make a dish that is gonna help us beat the summer heat, but I'm with my friend Erica of the blog Everything Erica to show us a great summertime recipe. A zucchini noodle salad with tropical marinara sauce. This recipe will keep you bikini ready this summer, which is really, really important. And speed already. Very, very. <laughs> easy, and best of all, it doesn't require any actual cooking. This is raw, it's cool, it's crisp, it's refreshing. I want to tell everyone about your blog and all your Instagram foodie ventures. Yeah, so uh, my blog is Everything Erica, and my philosophy is just a fun, lighthearted, easy approach to cooking. So this recipe couldn't fit that mantra more. Let's get started. What are Do we doing it. first? So first, we are going to make the zucchini noodles. This is so easy to do, and I have the, literally, this is the easiest tool in the world. This is the Chelsea Dale Peeler. And basically it has a peeler on one side and a zucchini noodle magic maker on the other. So you literally just peel the zucchini with one side and then you flip it over and on the other side it literally just makes the zucchini noodles for you. So make sure at the end of this video you click the link below. That'll take you to Erica's blog. Follow her on Instagram, she has a rockin' feed. And while you're at it, why don't you click that subscribe button below. I am rocking out summer recipes and delicious recipes every week and you know you wanna be a part of them. I wanna be a part of them. <laughs> <laughs> One subscriber right there. Okay, while you finish up the noodles, I'm gonna move on to our raw tropical marinara sauce. It's so refreshing and it's just pretty much dumping a whole garden into our blender, buzz it up, and it's so easy and so delicious. So to the blender, I'm adding three quarters of a pound of fresh tomatoes. To that, I'm gonna add half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I have half a cup of diced up cantaloupe. And the cantaloupe just adds a sweetness to it, and it has a big water content. That's gonna help thin out the sauce a little. It's perfect too. So a lot of times people add sugar to yes. marinara sauce to cut the acidity. In this case, we're replacing that with fruit, which is a much better sugar for you. Agreed, and if you don't have cantaloupe, you could totally use honeydew melon. All good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a little bit of sea salt, some coarse sea salt, and I'm, I'm gonna put it right over the zucchini. What this is gonna do is it's gonna draw that liquid out, and also a little salt is good on everything. That's right. The funny thing is, when I was developing this recipe in the beginning, I saw Erica post something on Instagram with uh, the peeler and the zucchini noodles. So I called her up immediately, and I said, we gotta make this video. It was a match made in heaven, and I think they're gonna like the final result. I'm, I know they're gonna like the final <laughs> result. It's awesome, guys. Next up, let's chop some fresh herbage and get it into the blender. So why don't you chop a quarter cup of fresh basil, and I'm gonna chop about a tablespoon of fresh thyme. Next up, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, the good stuff. Some roasted garlic. If you're gonna use fresh garlic, I would just do one clove, but you're probably not gonna kiss anyone the rest of the day, so roasted sweet is the way to go. Next up, I have one tablespoon of tomato paste. I don't know about you, but I love the flavor of tomato paste. No, either I'm really weird, or I'm on to the next food trend. Okay. Next up, I have a quarter cup of orange and red peppers, just roughly chopped. The machine will do the work for us. Love the colors in this. Yeah, this right? It's beautiful. It's just like a garden. It's like a beautiful a tropical garden. I'm gonna take the zest off the lemon. I use lemon zest all the time. So good. Just make sure when you're zesting lemon, you don't hit the white part, because then it'll right. get a little bit bitter. Exactly. And we're going to do the juice of a half of an orange. I got the muscles, that's why he did that's it. That's right, today's my birthday. Yeah. And go for the juice of a whole lemon. So next we're gonna add some soy sauce. This recipe actually could be gluten-free if you just wanted to substitute the soy for tamari, which just is an aged soy sauce. Absolutely. No gluten in that. Next up, two tablespoons of green onions, roughly chopped. Then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of honey. Squeeze that honey bear head. I always feel bad when it's coming out the top of his head. <laughs> I feel good for some reason. But it reason. tastes so good. <laughs> a few cracks of pep. And then a little bit of red pepper yes, flake. Yes, gotta make it a little spicy in there. The hardest part of this now is going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so there's a chance it might need more salt or lemon. You could totally adjust it, but. You don't need anything wow. else. It's Perfect. And also, it's so fresh. So fresh. And the flavor will develop over time. So if you make this a little bit ahead of time or the day before, just remember the flavor is going to get more pronounced. I want to go back. <laughs> I know, right? It's so good. Well, let's add it to our zucchini yes. pasta now. So why don't you toss it up with that? Gladly. God, how beautiful is this? Beautiful. God, if you didn't know, you would think this was actually pasta. I agree. So. If you eat with your eyes first and you're like, this is pasta, it's going to taste, it's gonna more, taste like more like pasta. It's going to taste more like pasta. I don't know if I'm going to share. <laughs> Sharing is caring. 
to some people. <laughs> <laughs> Not when it comes to this. Oh my god, look at that. Should we top it with a little fresh yep, basil? Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Is it possible to fall in love with a dish? Because I may have just done that. This might actually take you over the top though. A little bit of really well, good extra virgin olive oil, just like you would with a fresh pasta dish. Kid knows the way to my heart. I mean, I'm sold. Um, where's my fork? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Wow. This looks so good. And it like rolls like right? around your fork just like pasta would. Totally. There's no difference. You would never know that that's a raw sauce. That would fool even the most legit of Italians. Unbelievable. What a way to enjoy the food you love and still keep it healthy, still keep it light, and still keep it raw. I could not have said it any better myself. Thank you. Guys, the recipe is below. Click it, like it, share it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out Erica's blog, Everything Erica. Follow her on Instagram and try this insanely delicious summer recipe. And I will see you in another week with a brand new tasty, delicious recipe. Later! Bye!